Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for October. It's Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Welcome if you're new and thank you for coming back if you're returning. Please check the description box for all the information you need. Tons of stuff there, please do go check that out. Thank you for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me and helping the channel out to grow and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you do like my style, I ask that you please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, different types of readings, so don't miss out on that. And thank you so much if you do. And uh, I guess we'll just get started here. And uh, just take what resonates, throw away the rest as usual. If you're um, a regular tarot watcher, then you know how this works. Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't, including the signs I mentioned. Um, energy can be flip-flop, reversed interchangeable okay i hope everybody's doing well going into fall happy early halloween okay for capricorn for october oh and my candle went out my candle went out capricorn i thought it would last but Sorry about that. I don't want to start the reading over, so. Okay. All right. So this is for Capricorn. Capricorn. This is Zodiac Oracle, so if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. You could get a sign, element, planet, energy. So for Capricorn, love, connection, reading, spirit, please, for the first half. I was doing uh, bi-weekly readings, now I'm changing my format, so I still want to say the first half of October, but this is just going to be for October. Sagittarius. Oh, so some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, and if you're not, that is totally fine. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, doesn't have to be all three, or they could have it somewhere in their chart. If not, that's totally fine. Okay, so this deck here, first thing I'll do is I'll get an overall love connection energy between wh whoever you're thinking of at this time. This can be any type of connection with whoever you have in mind. No specific type of connection. So whoever you're thinking about at this time has to be some sort of connection. They have to know you exist. So it can't be somebody that you like, and but they have no clue who you are. So has to be some form of a connection there. All right, so let's get a love connection energy between Capricorn and their person for October Spirit, please. Thank you so much. I'll take that one, wanted to flip. Win or lose, so, ooh, that's the Five of Swords energy. So this is sort of like air energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is defeat at all cost. This is a very ego-driven, self-centered, energy sometimes uh like getting ahead no matter what you know doing whatever you want you don't care how you do it who you hurt oh kind of a selfish energy they are egoish kind of energy all right so hmm i don't like that energy so we'll see What's going on? What's going on? Let's get for one for you, one for your person. I will put that's too many. I will put you on this side and them on this side, but if you feel like those energies can be reversed, please do that. All right, so one. Oh boy, so we have release on your side, number 13, which I do believe that is um, death. Oh, something may be ending here, Capricorn. I don't know. Your readings have been very positive, so that might have been one um, collective I was picking up on. This may be a new collective now. So they have shared the love, which is the Three of Cups. So are they, sh are they sharing their love everywhere? I don't, I, know. I don't know. So, I mean, the Three of Cups can speak of um, third-party energy. And then you have death energy, whoops, which is Scorpio energy, which is about um, the ending of something, but then there's transformation, rebirth, and a new start. So something 
could be ending here and maybe they're a player and that's that win or lose energy like they're just doing whatever they want and they really don't care oh let's see what's on the bottom of the deck believe and succeed so now we have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck so this is success and victory but it, this also can be a very ego driven card the six of wands it can be you know vying for attention like wanting you know a lot of attention from others around you they may get a lot of attention and sharing their love all over the place here with the three of cups energy and now you're realizing you know what i don't like their ways that like they're going to do whatever they want and they really don't care that's the five of swords energy so you have this energy here of you know what uh i think i'm done with that oh boy so, like I said, Six of Wands can be attention, a lot of attention. Also, if it's not success and victory, because you usually see on um, like the regular tarot of the um, soldier or whoever coming in on the horse, carrying the wand of victory and getting all the attention from all the spectators. So it's a very uh, attention-getting kind of energy. So this person you're dealing with may get a lot of attention and I think they like that and they share their love all over the place so I don't know we'll see we'll see what we get here oh boy so let's get one for you Capricorn one for your person what's going on here with the Capricorn oh oh my god <laughs> and as I was just explaining the six of wands, spirit said yes. Well, bali gosh gee, here it is. Holy crap. So, yeah. And you see how he's offering something here and she's accepting it and he's getting a lot of attention here from the other spectators all around him. Like he's sitting up on his perch, like very egotistical. And oh, I like this one over here. So I think I'll make her this offer. I mean, you do see this person, you know, as a lover or, you know, maybe you thought this was a possible soulmate. This is Gemini energy. doesn't have to be. Six of Wands is fire there, there so that is the Leo Sag Aries. So, but the lovers sometimes, um, you see the angel here, though, bringing the soulmates together. And then there's two soulmates here. But it says lovers. So you probably know this person has more than one lover <laughs> is what I'm getting. I mean, you probably want them uh, all to yourself. But um, with the Three of Cups there, Nam, I think they're sharing their love all over the place. Yeah. So, I don't They do have the Hierophant here on their side, though, which is Taurus. So, that is about commitment morals values integrity and that kind of energy spirituality faith uh, hmm. i don't know and then you have the king of swords energy here air energy here uh libra gemini aquarius and it's like you want truth clarity uh open honest communication you know do you need to use this sword to cut this person away you know you just want um you know the swords is all about truth clarity um, cutting away things not serving if you have to. Open, honest communication. Standing up for yourself. Not taking BS. I think they know that you are very committed to them. Like you are their one and only and you don't have anybody else. But they have, I think, many people over there. So let's get the actual situation... Oh, Capricorn. Capricorn. Who is this person, Capricorn? Who is this person? What's going on? What's the actual situation for Capricorn Spirit, please? What is the actual situation for Capricorn for October? Page of Pentacles. There's the Three of Cups again, right in the middle of your spread. Wow. And the Five of Swords. Wow. So, yeah. So... On your side here with the Page of Pentacles, you know, this is communication. This is also a solid offer coming in. It's like you're waiting, you know, waiting and waiting. You want a solid offer. You want long term. You want to build <clears throat> and grow with this person. 
but they're only coming in as with a little tiny offer here. They're only giving you a little piece of them while they are giving themselves to many other people because right in the middle of your spread is the Three of Cups again to clarify over here with their Three of Cups. That's six people now. <laughs> you count the three there and the three here. That's six. They could have six people on this. Oh my God, I don't want to say that, but oh my God. Yeah, three, three of cups. I mean, it can be about happiness, joy, celebrating, you know, that kind of thing. But with that coming up twice, and now you have the five of swords on their side, is like this energy again. And that's this energy again, the egotistical energy here of, yeah, I'm going to do what I want and I really don't care. And they, they like getting the attention. They get a lot of attention. They be, may be very... Um, they may have a big ego and they may know they're good looking and they get a lot of attention. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's get a couple more clarifiers here. Justice. Wow. And the Nine of Cups. So, you know, Justice here... Uh, I don't know if you're married to this person or not, but justice here can speak of things in the justice system. This is Libra. If not, this is just bringing balance, truthful, honest communication, and justice. Like you want your justice, you need justice in this situation, and maybe you know the right thing to do to get your own self justice is just to release this person. Because they have the Nine of Cups energy here, which in this deck, represents a very self-indulgent type of person wow it's just you know here on his own enjoying himself being overindulgent overindulgent this person's overindulgent they know you are committed to them that you don't have anybody else but they are overindulging on their side and you need to bring justice into the situation by asking and standing up here with that King of Swords energy for truth and clarity in the situation. If you know that they have others or you don't, but you have a strange feeling for some of you, uh, I don't know, because we have repeating cards here. I mean, we have the five of, sword, five of Swords twice and we have the Three of Cups twice. And as I explained the Six of Wands, it came flying out here because it's here too. So we have three repeating cards. Wow. What's the advice for Capricorn? What's the advice for Capricorn with this person? The world. That's your energy, Capricorn. That's about ending cycles and closing out cycles. What else for Capricorn? And the Emperor, which is Aries energy. So your advice is to... Emperor takes charge, takes control. The world, closing out cycles here as with release with the death. Closing out cycles so you can start new cycles. So your advice is to take, take charge of your life, take charge of the situation, whatever you need to do here. Close out a cycle, either with this person if you have to. Um, if you're stuck in this situation, it's like you can't break free from them. Because maybe every time they come back, they promise commitment. Then they go right back to their old ways. This is telling you here with the King of Swords energy, you finally need to stand up for yourself. And with justice here, you really need to uh, know your what your value and worth is and stand up for yourself. And put your foot down, basically. All right, so... Very egotistical, overindulgent energy on their side. Wow. So extra now for your advice, extra clarity for your advice. We have the Eight of Wands and we have the Moon. Yeah, so Eight of Wands is fire energy again. Okay, so, um, Leo Sag Aries, and now we have the moon Cancer Pisces. So, and the moon is coming up on their side. This is about lies, it can be about secrets, lies, deceit, not seeing things clearly, not knowing all the facts. They're definitely hiding things from you. They're being secretive and hiding things from you, 
overindulging. Wow. And now, I mean, this is passionate, fiery communication. So, I mean, you know, every time they come back, they may promise you things and come in with this passionate you know, communication, how much they like you, they want you, they want to be with you, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, and that's kind of the Sagittarius energy there. But that's also about taking action, taking movement, travel. So this could be just your energy with the Justice card there is just to finally, you know, to be already passionate about your value, self-worth, Communicate, needing to communicate with them and finding out truth and clarity, standing up for yourself, saying, I want to know what's going on, the secrets over here, closing out that chapter, that may be what you have to do. Do you really want to stay in this energy? All right, so what is your possible outcome? What is your possible outcome? What will you do, Capricorn? Will you stay with this person? Will you close out this cycle? What is the possible outcome? The Ten of Cups. So, I mean, this is, you know, happiness, joy, happy home and family, you know, um, fulfillment in every single way. So it's either going to be your own self-fulfillment or maybe they'll come around and just finally, so with the uh, Hierophant there, they finally just commit to you. But if there's somebody that has cheated on you repeatedly, I don't see how they would change. But I don't know. Let's clarify. Why is the Ten of Cups here for the possible outcome for Capricorn? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to take these two over here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Three of Swords. So this is heartbreak, deep, deep pain in your heart. Third party again. Three. We have three, three times. That's nine. <laughs> and then you have stress, worry, anxiety here, uh, fear. Slaying that dragon, though. You got your sword up, and I think you're finally going to slay that dragon and rid yourself of this heartache and pain that this person is causing you. You're just finally going to stand up. Take that sword as with the justice in the king of sword energy. Finally slay that dragon. Because you see, this is the after tarot. The swords have fallen out. This been enough heartache and pain. Enough. So now you're going to slay the dragon. Let them go. Release all that pain. And ultimately... You'll have your happiness and joy back in your life with your family, your friends. You know, you may meet somebody else in the future that will give you these Ten of Cups of being totally committed to you with happiness, joy, and, you know, fulfillment in every single way. I don't think it's this person. Because I put the Three of Swords now on their side. So, I mean, the Three of Swords, the Moon, the Nine of Cups of being overindulgent. Though the Hierophant there, I think they just come back and they promise you, but then they go right back to their ways. Wow. All right, bottom of the deck energy, the High Priestess. So again, secrets and not revealing the secrets. So definitely I feel like there's a lot of secrets here that you don't know with this person. The High Priestess energy. But you can manifest a brand new beginning for yourself if you choose to. The Magician so this is the seven of wands. So this is, you know, being defensive, standing up for yourself. So I think you just need to stand up for yourself here. The hangman, I think, you know, period here, not taking action, not really doing anything, just kind of going with the flow and saying, well, maybe, you know, they'll change their ways and, you know, but uh, I think you'll finally see the light here in this situation. Yeah, I think they do come back here and they promise you a page of wands, passion, communication. They promise you new offers. Say, you know, I want to work on it with you with the eight of pentacles. I want to move forward with you. But then here's the three again. They go right back to their ways. The three of pentacles again. I mean, the three of pentacles is teamwork, collaboration, working together, but it's three. Three again. 
and then that makes you feel hurt, feel hurt, lonely, and left out in the cold and neglected again in that energy. Yeah, so I think they really, they come in, they charge in, say, I want to work on it, passionate communication to you, you know, but you don't, you just kind of wait and wait for them to come back, and then they finally come back, and they feed you all this crap, and you accept it, but now you need to stand up for yourself and fight this person off, manifest a new beginning for yourself. There's just too many secrets with this person, too many secrets that they're hiding from you. Well, Capricorn, I hope I wish this was a more positive reading, but this is what I have, and I tell the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat and say, oh, we're going to change their ways and come back. I think they have come back, and they fed you horse shit, <laughs> and uh, you've taken it so many times, and now you're like, you know what? No, nope, no more. All right, so let's get some healing messages for you, Capricorn for October. Let's get some healing messages. Capricorn for October. So we have reflection here, illusion, self-examination, and distortion. So with the moon energy again, so illusion, yeah. And you really need to examine the situation. I think you're not seeing, seeing it clearly. You're being, you know, illusion by their energy, but there's a lot of things that they're not telling you with the moon energy. Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart, 43. So, um, I don't know, I think, you know, I think you try to send, you know, your loving vibes to them, and, you know, I think you do have some sort of feelings for them, and you would have liked to um, <clears throat> be with them, but I think it's just too much here. And I think you're just finally going to release this. Let it go. Slay the dragon. All right. Ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, fertility. So, I mean, there is an ocean of love out there. There is somebody else out there for you. And you can heal from this creativity. So maybe doing something creative will help you. Writing, journaling, something like that. Fertility. So, you know. And then you have 44. Then that's about stability for us. And then eight is about, again, action, travel, communication. Bottom of the deck, evolution, earth changes, climate change, transformation. So, you know, there will be some big changes for you coming up here. Uh, things will evolve for you. Things will change. You'll find somebody else in the future. I don't think it's this person. And you can heal and transform out of this situation and evolve from this. Yeah, see here, attachment. No. Letting go, restriction, fear. Yeah, so you need to just let go of this person and let go of that attachment. Because I don't think this is the person for you. I think it's just too hurtful, painful. There's been too much in and out energy of them, you know, promising to only be with you. And they may for a while stay committed for you for a while, but then they go right back to... Uh, their old ways. I mean, we have three, we have the three of pentacles under here, three of cups twice, the three of swords here. That's three, four times, six of wands twice, five of swords twice. So yeah, no. All right. Good luck to you, Capricorn. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.